students and today we shall learn uh, nouns okay kinds of nouns and countable and uncountable nouns okay so now let us start what is a noun <clears throat> a noun is a naming word that is used to name living beings places things ideas and feelings okay so a noun is a naming word so noun is the name of any person any place any object okay even feelings and ideas okay name of feelings and ideas okay examples john name of a person lion name of an animal india name of a place table name of a thing gold name of material okay? pain name of feeling honesty name of quality okay so a noun is a naming word name of any person any place any animal any objects okay so you understand what is a noun okay now let us learn kinds of nouns we have your kinds of nouns that is proper nouns common nouns collective nouns abstract nouns and material nouns okay <clears throat> number one proper nouns names of particular places persons and objects they are called proper nouns okay so proper noun is a noun that names a particular person place or objects okay for example uh, sanjay <coughs> the name sanjay can be given to many boys okay but the person sanjay is just one of his kind only one sanjay right there is no other sanjay just like the person sanjay all right so sanjay is a proper noun In so, india okay india is the name of a place right so there is only one india in this whole universe right so sun and moon okay there is only one sun there is only one moon one of its kind okay so in sanjay india sun moon they are unique one of their kind okay so these are called proper noun so proper noun is a noun that names a particular persons places or objects okay and <coughs> common nouns common nouns general names of general names of places persons or objects Okay. So, common noun is a noun that names uh, persons, places, or objects of the same kind, general name. Okay. For example, boys. When I say boys, there are so many kinds of boys. Okay. Girls, so many kinds of girls. Books, so many kinds, right? Chairs, so many kinds of chairs. Okay. So, these are common nouns. <coughs> Collective nouns, names of a collection of groups of persons, animals, or things forming a unit okay so collective noun is a noun that name a group of persons or animals or things taken together and spoken of uh, as one whole okay forming a unit for example army army is a group of soldiers right class class a group of students right mob a group of people uh, get together for some kind of uh, destructive purpose we call it mob right team group of uh, group of uh, what is that players okay so collective noun is a noun okay nouns that name a group of people or group of animals or group of things taken together and forming a unit okay <coughs> abstract nouns names of qualities ideas emotions and such things which we cannot see or touch okay so abstract nouns are nouns that name of qualities okay, ideas emotions Okay, our feelings, all right, that we cannot see or touch. Examples, honesty. Honesty is a name of a quality, quality of a person that we cannot see or touch, right? Beauty, right? Happiness, name of feeling, sadness, okay? So, things that we cannot see or touch, okay? Our qualities, or ideas and emotions, they are called, uh, what is that? Abstract noun. <coughs> Material nouns. Names of materials or substances used as ingredients for making things. Okay. Material noun is a noun that names materials or substances. Okay. Things that we use as ingredients for making things. Okay. They are called material nouns. For example, oil, sugar, salt. We use as ingredients to make something, right? Glass. Okay. We use glass to make uh, windows or many items. Okay. <coughs> Wood out of wood, we, we make furniture, we make uh, we build houses okay, out of clay, out of clay, 
play we use uh, out of play we use pot many items right things that we use as ingredients okay to make something okay they are called material nouns now let us learn countable and uncountable nouns countable nouns are nouns which can be counted okay nouns which can be counted are called countable nouns okay example books girls bottles houses okay books we can count one book two books three books okay one girl two girls okay things okay that can be counted they are called countable nouns okay <clears throat> uncountable nouns are nouns which cannot be counted okay things that cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns for example sugar rice coal iron okay this cannot be counted okay now <clears throat> The countable nouns can be can have both singular and plural form. We can say one book, two books, okay? But uncountable nouns cannot have plural form, okay? It can have only singular form. Sugar, I say, give me one book or give me two books. We say, give me some sugar. We cannot put S here. We cannot say, give me some sugars. Give me some rices. We don't say it, right? So, uh, but, uh, these are material nouns. So uncountable nouns cannot have plural form. Okay, it can have only a singular form. <clears throat> and there are some nouns, okay, which can be both countable and uncountable. Okay, for example, for example uh, the photo frame is made of glass. Okay, please give me an empty glass. Here, same noun is used. Okay, here this glass is used as uncountable noun. Here it is a countable noun. Okay, see that. The photo frame is made of glass. Here, this glass is a material noun. Okay, so this is uncountable noun. Here, please give me an empty glass. Here, this glass is a common noun. Okay, so this is a countable noun. Okay, so there are some nouns that can be both uh, countable and uncountable uh, depending on the context or according to the sentence. Okay, so students, today we have learned uh, nouns and kinds of nouns countable and uncountable nouns in this video and class 8 you have nouns and pronouns in your chapter 2 okay so that pronouns that part we will learn in next video for today we shall stop here and study hard everyone and stay safe stay home stay safe do it for self do for family do for india and take 10 of covid 19 from the coming up day